Hi, welcome to Wareham Free Library's Children's and Young Adult Book Talk. Keeping with our Native American theme this week, the uh, book that I've chosen is called Ancestor Approved, Intertribal Stories for Kids, edited by Cynthia Latex Smith. She is a member of a Native American tribe and what she decided she wanted to do is she gathered a group of every single story. It's, it's a collection of short stories and every single story in this book is written by a Native American author. This book is for um, older elementary to middle school and the stories go from a short one that's a free verse poetry so it's only about four pages long to about a 10 page story and they all revolve around going to a powwow. A powwow is a Native American celebration. It's a multi-generational festive fair. The closest I can relate it to is the Barnstable County Fair. They're usually held outside, but they can be held inside in, um, you know, inclement weather. And they involved, first of all, the fair aspect of all different types of foods to sample, but it's Native American foods that they're serving. So you're from many tribes. And that's another thing. A tribe will host the powwow but it's intertribal, so they won't just have one tribe. They'll have tribes from all over. Besides the food, they have booths for selling jewelry, clothing, uh, rain sticks, um, dream catchers, jewelry made from shells here is what the Wampanoag might do for crafts. And then at the heart of the powwow is the music and the dancing. So there's lots of drumming and the children and adult practice and learn to do these dances. It's learning their culture. Um, and they do the intertribal dances in a circle. Um, one of my favorite stories from this book involves a young boy about 13 years of age who's been in a foster home with white parents and he hasn't been exposed to the Native American culture. His older brother reaches out to him and calls him every week, encourages him to take the dance lessons because he does the dances at powwow. And later on in the story, he invites the entire family to go to the Mother Earth powwow, and he and his brother will dance together. He gives them the special clothing, the regalia to wear, and they do their tribal dance. Um, what I like about that story, he's going to the powwow for the first time, and you're experiencing it through your through his eyes. And if you've never been to a powwow, it's like you're there for the first time. It's, it's a good book because it's all these short stories. So you can read, uh, it's best to read them not all together to break it up, read one to a day. And if there's one that you don't really care for, you can skip it, but they all have to do with Native American values, things that are important to the tribes, uh, valuing ancestors, valuing the earth, the tribal dances, the instruments, and you really learn about a lot about a powwow and Native American culture. Uh, try this book out, Ancestor Approved by Cynthia Latex Smith, and thank you for listening. Oh, and to um, one last thing I almost forgot. This is for older children to learn about powwows. For younger children, I have a new series by Joseph Bruhock, who's a Native American author, and it's about two young kids going with their grandparents to powwows and solving mysteries. And right now, there are three books in the series, so this is fun to read for grades like kindergarten through three. And then we have nonfiction books about powwow. Thank you.